right, so starting off, we're gonna go with reverse tricep extensions. First reps, make sure you squeeze and pause at the bottom. Right after that, eliminate the pause once you find the burn. Right after that, we're gonna flip it over to overhand tricep extensions. Same thing, pausing on the first reps. Once you find that burn, that's when you pick up the speed. Next up is a superset with barbell curls. Same thing, squeeze at the top of every single rep, keep your core tight. This is gonna be supersetted with your rack curls. Right after that, we're gonna continue to dumbbell alternating curl. Start off with a good weight. It's not too heavy, but it's a bit challenging. Same thing, do about a one second pause at the top. Next thing, we're gonna use the arm blaster. But right here, we're gonna grab the curl bar. We're gonna start off with about 20 reps. Just find that mind-muscle connection. Once you find the burn, you slowly start picking up the speed and pump as much blood in. I didn't record it, but that was superseded with push-ups. Next thing, it's seated dumbbell curls. So same thing, get a good weight, not too heavy, but it's a bit challenging. Squeeze at the top. Once you're done with the heavier weight, you're gonna grab a lighter weight and both at the same time, you're gonna take that drop set all the way to failure. Find the burn, like I've said before, just maximize the set. So you guys saw the bicep workout. Um, we did some curls. Majority was a more bicep dominant than than tricep, but you know, once a push, once a pull. So a lot of supersets. I did dips. I did tricep push downs, reverse uh, tricep extensions, overhead dumbbell skull crushers, and close grip push ups. Uh, was some of the exercises that I did. I want to tell you, and not just not just. I mean, it doesn't apply to everybody, but you know, going back to. You know, recently people asking all these questions and I see all these different coaches and all these, you know, everybody has great strategies and coaching and stuff like that. But it comes down to really what you want is what is your ideal physique? You know, do you want to be, you know, more like a bodybuilding routine, more of a, you know, a strength and conditioning and stuff like that? Because as you guys seen how over the years I used to, you know, deadlift a lot, squat a lot. Um, I had a small tear in my lower back from you know, squatting and deadlifting heavy. I was messing around with 650, you know, on the deadlift for reps and squatting 500 pounds for sets of eight to 10. So it was just a matter of time. And then plus wrestling, you know, the wrestling schedule and sleeping enough, you know, some days I was hydrated, some days I'm not. So at that time, my goal was to be as strong as possible, try to, you know, even though I had more body fat on top, I didn't, I didn't really care, but now it's a little bit different. Now I care more about, basically just function in the way I look because uh, you know I haven't touched a deadlift in about a year and a half ever since my injury happened I haven't really squatted a majority just use a leg press leg extensions leg curls and stuff like that questions what do you want you know do you want bigger arms do you want bigger shoulders you know do you want bigger traps do you want to work on your neck you know abdominals or you just want to be strong you don't care about you know body fat so it comes down to, to that is for me like i said now is more about function you know longevity looking good there's no reason for me to be squatting four five hundred pounds for what you know i used to compete in strongman uh you know i did powerlifting and all that it was cool you know you do get high like oh, i can't put you know as much weight as i can in the back but the thing is you're one injury away from not being the same ever again so um i train buys and tries two to three times a week you know, the first time, the first day out of the week that I train them is more heavy. The second time I train them is a little bit medium light. And then the last one is more, you know, a superset with back and chest. So maybe, you know, towards the end, I just do 100 straight curls, 100 rope curls, work on the forearms and stuff like that. Uh, people are going to tell you, like, oh, no, that's a lot. You know, that's a lot of volume. You don't need to do that many sets. You can just work out twice a week and, you know, you can get away with it, stuff like that. But 
it's kind of saying like, well, you only got to work twice a week to pay the bills at the house. You only got to work twice a week to reach, you know, your career. You got, you got, you got to do more than that. You got to, you got to focus on on details. You got to look at your physique. So you know what? I got to do more cardio. I got to do a little bit more abs. It's now we live in a society that, that, how, how can I get away with it? We're doing the least amount of possible. You know, nowadays you don't go to the grocery store, you get what, curbside, because you're too lazy to walk in the grocery store. Now you don't, you know, you don't go pick up your food, you say, oh, well, Uber Eats or DoorDash, even though I gotta pay an extra $20, you know, I don't feel like going. We're becoming so dependent and so lazy that it's kind of like, oh, how, you know, I don't gotta, I don't wanna work that hard, you know? I'm, ever since the pandemic and stuff, you know, some people work from home and that's cool and stuff like that, but. Does that make sense how we're just becoming less and less mobile, less and less active? If you look back in the day, Arnold Schwarzenegger, imagine telling that to Arnold Schwarzenegger, Lou Ferrigno, you know, uh, all these guys, hey, just train twice a week and you're gonna, fuck no man, these guys were training every single day, five hours a day. What I'm saying is the mentality of, of back then, you know, our parents, our grandparents, just go to the gym, find your goals, find what you want. You want bigger shoulders, you gotta put more volume on the shoulders. You want bigger biceps, you gotta put attention to the biceps. You want bigger triceps, chest, abdominals, stuff like that. Stop thinking that just, I'm gonna go do three exercises and 10 minute cardio and that's it, call it a day. Maybe, but then don't be crying, how come you never achieve your physique? Or it takes you 30 weeks to achieve your physique. I've seen it, I've done it for myself. Within six weeks, you can do amazing transformation but it's gonna be six weeks of hell. It's gonna be six weeks of, you know, getting up in the morning and, you know, doing your empty stomach cardio if you have to, or if you gotta fast and then do your workouts and, you know, what vitamins do I need to take to recover properly? How much sleep am I getting? How many calories am I getting in? You know, am I getting closer to my goal? You gotta, you know, visualize it. And once you visualize, you gotta put action behind that to achieve that goal. Be a student of the game. Don't, don't just be somebody that's blind going through life and, and just saying, oh, well, I hope it works because it's probably not gonna work. From your relationship to your job to everything, if you just go blindly, just hope for the best, it's not gonna fucking work, I promise you. Because even people that try their hardest, it still doesn't work out. Imagine you just, maybe one person gets lucky. It doesn't mean everybody's gonna just get lucky and you know just lift the dumbbell and, and you know, oh my God, I grew my arm. Same thing, like majority of the females that I train, they say, Hey, um, I'm not gonna get too big, right? I'm not gonna get too muscular. I don't wanna look like a bodybuilder. I'm like, dude, if you if that happens, please tell me the secret because I will become a multimillionaire by writing a book of that secret. It's not gonna happen. It's like saying, if I'm working a minimum paying job, am I gonna become a millionaire? I hope I don't make that much money. I, I, I just want the minimum. That's basically what you're saying when you go in the gym is I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna push myself so hard, man. All right, that's fine. Not everybody has to push themselves or, or take their body to a whole different level. But then later on, don't be crying and don't be questioning where my results at. You work out, write down everything, be soon in the game, look at your diet, look at your supplements, look at your sleep, look at your drinking habits, look at your smoking habits, look at all that. Because all that plays a vital role in everything as far as getting the results and getting the body you want. So.